Hey buddies, just a quick update followed by some Destiny gameplay highlights. Uploads have been less frequently lately and I'd just like to explain why. Firstly, my setup needs changing. Jane and I are moving to a bigger room in this house so basically we have more space for equipment. Um, I don't even have a desk at the moment so editing videos has been pretty uncomfortable for me. Secondly, uh, the Clueless Guardians haven't really been playing together as much. I think this is due to the lack of six player activities in the House of Wolves. Anyway, thank you for this support. I'm just waiting for the next raid basically so that we can all play as a six man team and get back to the Clueless Guardian series. Trials of Osiris is out today, the 12th. It's Friday and I'm hoping to record a bunch of gameplay with Jane and Rainier and I'll definitely be sharing that gameplay on the channel. Once we've moved rooms, I'll be doing YouTube full time 24 seven. So there'll be tons more content for you guys. Once again, thank you for your support and patience. I really just hope to make you proud in the future with bigger and better and more frequent videos. So yeah, take care. Love you guys. Here we are in the reef and I am showing off my exceptional parkour skills. But James thinks he can do better. slowly invading the Destiny world. Andrew, however, has found an effective solution to start eradicating them. They say keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. But I think Bungie took this one a bit too far. It's Friday evening and Rainier has just returned from his tap dancing class. There's nothing to it. Look. Come on, try it. Here we see Aaron performing his daily mating call. Josh always falls for it. Andrew nearly sets a world record on the new duck hunt map. He gets the one, he gets the two, the three and the... Ah, oh, what a shame. As well as raiding, one of James's best hobbies is to go on the Cosmodrome and go bird watching. He saw this mighty fine beast in the sky and described it to us as massive. James wouldn't stop banging on about the latest bird he had found. If you come across this area on a Wednesday night, you will find Scolas teaching his ballet classes. <coughs> James always made fun of my failed attempt at jumping the puzzle using Artblade, and now finally it's his turn to show me how easy it is. It turns out Jane has been attending Scolas' dance lessons. It's elimination, we've got two down, one to go, and Josh... As a reward for his outstanding performance in Crucible, Brother Vance has granted Josh Jedi abilities, which apparently open doors and are able to dodge Nova Bombs. I've told Jane again and again not to play hide and seek in the Crucible, but she never listens. The Trials of Osiris have proven not to be every Guardian's cup of tea. For James, however, no problemo. Perfect flip, 10 out of 10. Woo, baby! Many of Jane's tactics are questionable, including this one. 
It was Jane's turn to dismantle the mine. Although he can now dodge Nova Bombs, Josh hasn't quite got the hang of his new Jedi powers. Enemy captured zone B. After getting on a massive kill streak in the Crucible, there's nothing more terrifying than a Titan coming towards you with his Hulk slam. If only every time was like this. Once Josh had run out of torpedoes for his giant yellow submarine, he whips out the Queen Breaker's bow to show the enemies who's boss. At least when I die in the Crucible, rest assured that Andrew will avenge me. I will get you for killing my dear friend. Although a fun-loving Scotsman, Andrew's very selfish when it comes to sharing his vehicles. Guardian down. James thought it would be funny to stick a trip mine to my sparrow. Guardian down. Thanks for watching buddies, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one and leave a comment below, I will try to reply and I love you. Tune in for the next episode of Guardians Been Framed. <laughs> Guardians messing up. I don't know. <laughs>